Now, today I will take you how to change you, uh, your timetable on auto bell timer. For one, I will be in a position to explain to you uh, the different functionalities of this timer. For one, uh, this timer is a dual function. This means it can operate manually and as well in the scheduled uh, in a time, timed uh, style. It has a button up on the edge with three functions, one auto, two off and on. Auto is when this bell would ring on the scheduled pattern. Off is uh, in case you are closing the school and on is any emergency bell. Uh, another item you need to know is that this bell picks any program you set Monday to Friday by default. Uh, maybe I can also take you through these uh, functions, uh, the buttons on the, on the interface. One is the mode. Uh, the mode happens to be the main menu. Uh, this is where you have four functions. One of the function, one is you press, it will be the TC. Uh, as you can see on your screen, TC means it's the time clock. This is where now we set the clock on your phone, the current time on your phone. Then select button, this now moves uh, your functions from hour, minute, uh, seconds, and also day of the week. Plus a negative uh, signs, uh, they are to add time, and negative is to reduce time according to where you are setting. Uh, then again, the plus and negative signs have a different versions when we versions when we come to uh, day of the week. One plus moves uh, Monday across the week to Sunday, and the negative versions uh, uh, behaves like uh, it, it 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 disengages on and off status once you place it. If uh, by default sets Monday to Friday, and in case you want to. To set a, a link in schedule on Saturday, then you press negative to, to, to migrate from on to uh, negative to off. Uh, then again, you also have uh, uh, the reset button. This button, uh, the function is to reset or the whole program of this in case you feel uh, uh, you need to change some of items. Then you have the uh, auto man button. Uh, this happens to be to be the auto and mode in terms of the functions of, on, on, on the front. Uh, the power button, this is this indicator for the AC where you are connected to, to this function, which is the S1, S2. Once you connect it to power, this will indicate in red. Uh, on the work uh, function button, uh, this is where it shows once uh, it is in active status. That means there is an active ring. Uh, on mode, we said this is the main menu, so the very first thing was the time clock, as you said. The next uh, thing, this is where you access your programs. The third time we press is the error, is normally negative 0 0.5 or positive 5. And TL is the fourth version and the final one, which is the time length. This is the duration of the ring on your timer. So I think we can start. We have a, an example of a timetable here. And this is Nyeri Good Shepherd Academy, and uh, the the uh, the timetable cuts across Monday, Monday to Friday, and then we'll also have a version of it from Monday to Saturday. So we can begin by first setting uh, the time clock. This is the very first thing you do, and as we said, you just press once. Then, if you want to set the hour, you press select. As you can see, in any editable function, uh, the, 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 the item keeps on bouncing. So, because we are setting the time, and uh, maybe I can check what is the time on my, on my, on my, my watch. Uh, in this case, I'm using my computer. And uh, it's selling me is uh, 10.47. So in this case, you press time clock, select, it's 10.47. So plus, uh, plus, 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 until you are 10. And it's 10.47, press select to go to the minute. Uh, minute, it's 10.47. 
you can add or detect depending on where you are coming from from 60 to or from zero depending on where it comes to be instead 47 we can as well set the seconds part uh, it's uh, with uh, 37 seconds that eight so we can do 40 that's it then you press select you go to the day of the week and day of the week today is uh, on tuesday so uh, it's getting monday so what happens we place plus to go to the exact date which today is on a tuesday uh well, then from there we have already set the time so in case now we want to go to the programs you press uh, a mode another time to go to programs then select to go to program number you are setting program number one so that's correct you press uh, select again to come to our and from our timetable the very first bell rings at 8 10 that is it 8 10 so uh, in this case we go to up to 8 and it's not exactly 8 it's 8 10 so we also set uh, this 10 here uh, we've gone, we've exceeded, so we'll deduct to 10. Uh, then we press another time. It will come to day of the week, but this is ringing Monday to Friday. And by default, the timer picks Monday to Friday. So we are okay now. We continue to press select, come back to program number. So we are in program number two. Program number two, select to come to our. Uh, once in hour we the next bell rings at 850 so plus 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 uh, negative so we have exceeded that so select again it's 850 so deducting from 59 is quicker than from starting from zero so that is it then you press uh, select it's uh, supposed to ring Monday to Friday by default that's it it has already dedicated uh, that it will be ringing on monday to friday so again place select select to come back to program number in this case our program number three i want us to do a wicked program let's say in our case this program rings or at around 7 a.m in the morning so we equate to seven in the morning uh, this is seven in the morning and uh, there is no setting so in this case the uh, it has picked monday to friday but we don't need the monday to friday we needed to ring saturday and saturday so what do we do uh, it's monday so we disengaged by negative uh, sign because all of them are on so in this case you see it has shifted to off status then you go to the next day which is on tuesday is on still you disengage by negative it becomes off you go to wednesday go to wednesday uh well, now we have we can do a select back to the functionality of the, of the week so tuesday is off wednesday is on disengage go to the next thursday disengage still to off status i uh, go to friday friday you disengage to off status then on saturday it will by default is off so you press negative for it to be on that's it uh, then on Sunday still, if it's ringing on Sunday as well, so you place negative to make it on. And that is it. And uh, once you place select once again to program number, uh, this program number is indicating that is ringing Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday. So that's it. That is how to set it to set a wicked program on a timer. Uh, another item uh, we go to to now setting on uh, time range. We said you press four times to reach to time range. Uh, in this case, our default is 10 seconds, but we may need to reduce it to five seconds. You just press select. Select. We don't need it in hours or minutes. Uh, then you press select. Maybe if you need it to five seconds because initially it's 10. You press it to five uh, that's it and uh, now you are getting back so we have already set uh, both